Council members met in regular session last night, May the 1st, and approved Ordinance 2012-02, amending the text of the Code of Ordinances of the Town of La Follette on pain management clinics. Bottom line, future pain management clinics looking to open in La Follette face tougher guidelines. La Follette has one pain management clinic, however it falls under old regulations and is grandfathered in. In the workshop last week, Daniel Smith was recommended for promotion to sergeant. Smith has over 10 years of experience as a police officer, now Sergeant Smith, because the promotion was approved in session, his pay will be raised $1,500 effective May 5th of this year. Also in last week's workshop, the police department recommended Jimmy Albertini to be hired to work as a full-time officer. Albertini has been a police officer for six years. Council members voted to approve the recommendation and the salary increase to $26,520 a year plus benefits. A full-time maintenance position for the East La Follette School Building was approved. All of the cost will be split 50-50 with the Campbell County Board of Education. The next workshop will be held on May 29th at 6 p.m. Campbell County Sheriff's Deputy shut down an active meth lab. A call came in Thursday to the Sheriff's Department about a possible meth lab in a vacant home off Glade Springs Road. Upon arrival to 126 Beals Lane, deputies smelled a strong chemical odor coming from the house. Once inside, a one-pot meth lab was found in the living room floor in a black backpack. Arrested were 47-year-old Jerry Allen Weening of Springs Lane, along with 32-year-old Rhonda Gale Poston of Tyson Lane. A third suspect, 33-year-old Russell Charles Sebi of Bethlehem Road, was found hiding under a pile of clothing. After attempting to fight officers, Sebi was taken into custody. All three are from La Follette, face meth-related charges and remain in the Campbell County Jail. Thursday has been set aside as the National Day of Prayer. Cedar Hill Baptist Church will commemorate the National Day of Prayer by hosting a free luncheon and opening their old sanctuary for prayer. Pastor Ronnie Arnold of the Cedar Hill Baptist Church tells WLAF and Channel 12 about this event. Uh, from 7 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock tomorrow night you can come by and pray. And then at uh, noon tomorrow we were going to be having a uh, prayer luncheon. Uh, the uh, ROTC from the high school will be coming posting the colors. We will have uh, a number of men from, the, from our church and the community that are going to be leading in various segments of prayer for our uh, nation, for our state, for our local uh, leaders. And we'll have a great meal of soup and sandwiches and salad and uh, great fellowship um, with our brothers and sisters and with the Lord. There's a celebration going on this week at Shoney's. That's right, Shoney's is celebrating its 65th anniversary and they're having several special days to celebrate this. It will start tomorrow at 11 a.m. and will be dine-in only. On Thursday, the special will be Shoney's All-American Burger for only 65 cents. That's on Mother's Day. For any mother who purchases an entree, they will receive a free hot fudge cake. On May 31st, the celebration will wrap up by giving away a slice of their famous strawberry pie to dine-in guests. Our local Shoney's in Caraville has been in operation since 1991. The Medical Blood Center is currently experiencing a critical blood shortage. The next community drive is going to be May 10th at La Follette Medical Center from 10 to 6. 
donors must be at least 17 years of age and weigh 110 pounds or more. And kindergarten registration will start on April 30th and go through May the 4th. Parents can register their children at their individual schools. And that's a look at our news for today. Thank you for joining us for this midweek edition, and we'll be back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department after this. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, 14 people have been booked into the jail in the past 24 hours. David Allen Atkins, 32, of South Cumberland Avenue, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. 39-year-old Jeffrey Allen Dopel of Waldridge Lane and Jellicoe was picked up and held for another agency. Eric Scott England, age 30, of Brook Place Lane, La Follette, for DUI, driving while suspended, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. Joseph C. Fox, 23, of Queener Road in Jacksboro for violation of probation. Kenneth A. Gain Balvo, 45, of McGee Lane in Jacksboro for theft of property between $10,000 and $59,999, fraudulent use of a credit card also. Kenny Rex Hubbard, age 20, of Abbey Lane in Jacksboro for theft of property under $500. 39-year-old Wanda Louise Madison of Cherry Street, La Follette, was held for another agency. 38-year-old Aletha Deanna Matty of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for DUI. Bree Anna McClary, 22, of Lakeview Lane in Jacksboro, for DUI. 45-year-old Connie Jean Shoemaker of Sieber Way in La Follette for domestic violence by assault and on a capius. Jason Lee Smallwood, age 30, of Ridge Road in Caraville for criminal impersonation and possession of a Schedule VI controlled substance. Chris Michael Tyler, 31, of Williamsburg for DUI, violation of the implied consent law, and impeding the flow of traffic. And finally, Dwayne Edison Webb, 22 of Summit Drive Speedwell, for violation of the seatbelt law, a traffic control device, and driving while revoked. And that's a look at our news for today. Thank you for joining us. Join us again tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome into your midweek edition of Birthdays and Anniversaries, and that is brought to you by East Side Pizza and Deli. And we're here at WLAF. We got a couple of belated birthdays we want to send out to uh, Mr. Vernon Benz, who celebrated a birthday yesterday, as well as Rick Evans, who turned uh, 59 back yesterday. Lorraine Lee starting off our birthday list today, and Arliss Webb turned 62 years old today. I want to wish all of you a happy birthday. Still don't have any names for our anniversary list, so if your birthday or anniversary have been this past week are still coming up, got a couple days. Uh, we're going to be giving a drawing out early Friday morning for these two free dinners from Eastside Pizza and Deli, and you can qualify for that by uh, getting your information in here to us by calling 562-1450, 566-1450, or 562-3557. You can email WLAF at bellsouth.net, or you can fax in your information to 562-5764. We'll get you on our list here, and uh, we'll be having that drawing early Friday morning for two free dinners from East Side Pizza and Deli in the Food Line Shopping Center. And that does it for our birthdays and anniversaries for this Wednesday. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. Stay tuned. Your news continues.